When did I know I wanted to become a flight attendant? Let me tell you. I was a sophomore in college. I was writing a paper. I was frustrated with everything. I didn't know what I wanted to do with my future. So I thought, hey, why don't I become a flight attendant for the summer? You can't do that. You can't be a flight attendant for the summer. But I didn't really think much about it. I finished my degree. I actually transferred schools. I became a teacher because I paid all that money for that degree. And then guess what? I hated it. So then I thought, well, I like travel. I've always wanted to be a flight attendant. How do I become a travel agent? So I did. And it was all right, but it's not what I wanted to do. So then I thought, great, okay, my husband's in the military. I can't really do a teaching job anymore because I really didn't like it anyway. How about I work for an airlines and that way it's kind of like being a travel agent. So I did, and I became a customer service agent, but I wanted to be a flight attendant. Why I didn't become a flight attendant first, I don't know. But if you want to be a flight attendant, just become a flight attendant. So I became a flight attendant after I think two years in customer service, uh, became a flight attendant and then 9-11 happened and then I left. So, but just know that if you wanna be a flight attendant, you can become a flight attendant at any age. You can do it in your 20s like I did. You can do it in your 40s like I did. Yeah, I did it twice. So do what you wanna do the first time. Don't go the roundabout way like I did and just wait.